In Star Trek, Strange New Worlds Episode 5, Spock, Ethan Peck, showed signs of being closer to Zachary Quinto's Vulcan than Leonard Nimoy. Strange New Worlds Episode 5, Spock Amok, is the Paramount Plus series' first comedic episode hearkening back to the Star Trek, the original series classic, The Trouble with Tribbles. The most amusing of Spock Amok's myriad high jinx was a mind melt gone awry that led to Spock switching bodies with his Vulcan fiancé, to Frank, Gia Sandu, and the Enterprise's science officer unleashing some surprising aggression while in Tupring's body. Ethan Peck's Spock is the younger version of Leonard Nimoy's Vulcan. They are playing the same character and Peck's Spock will gradually evolve into the stoic and experienced version Nimoy pioneered in TOS and the first six Star Trek movies, as well as J.J. Abrams' 2009 Star Trek and Star Trek Into Darkness. It's the latter film that shows one of the biggest deviations from Spock's character. Zachary Quinto's alternate Kelvin timeline version of Spock is younger, like Pex and Abrams' first two Star Trek movies happen roughly the same time as Strange New Worlds, circa 2259, albeit in different realities. Quinto's version of Spock is more volatile than Nimoy's or Pex. This is understandable considering that in the Kelvin timeline, Spock lost his entire homeworld when Vulcan was destroyed by Nero, Eric Bana. In Star Trek Into Darkness, Spock went on a rampage against Khan Noonien Singh, Benedict Cumberbatch. In a startlingly violent slugfest between the Vulcan and the genetically engineered madman, Spock beat Khan into submission by mercilessly punching the villain.